long-term actions through the MCDU and short-term actions through the FCU must be cross-checked on the Flight Mode Enunciator, FMA, located at the top of the PFD, as well as on the various scales of the PFD. The Guidance Mode Engagement Arm status and their associated guidance targets are provided on the FMA and PFD scales, speed, heading, altitude. When managed by the FMGS, the targets and modes are displayed on the FMA as the flight progresses. Let's discuss the FMA in more detail. As you can see, the FMA is divided into five columns. The first column is dedicated to thrust. This is where the auto thrust modes appear. The second one displays the vertical modes of the autopilot and flight directors. The third one, the lateral modes of the autopilot and flight directors. The fourth one gives the approach capability of the autoflight system and the DH or MDA. The last column displays the engagement status of the autopilots, flight directors and autothrust systems. In certain cases, the second and third columns are combined to display a single autopilot flight director mode, which is common laterally and vertically. These modes are common modes for approach, which means that they are closely linked together. You will study all the modes in later modules. The FMA can display three lines in each column. Let's look at the first three columns. The first line shows the engaged modes to the flight guidance system. In our example, the speed mode is engaged for the autothrust. This means that the autothrust will manage the thrust to track the target speed. The altitude, out mode, is engaged for the vertical mode. This means the autopilot FDs will provide guidance to maintain altitude. The heading, HDG mode, is engaged for the lateral mode. This means the autopilot FDs will provide guidance to the selected heading. Note, the color coding will be explained later when the concept of managed guidance and selected guidance will be discussed. The second line shows armed modes for the flight guidance system. In the example shown, GS and LOCK in blue indicate that glide slope and localizer capture modes are armed. The third line shows reminders or messages. In our example, Check Approach Cell advises us to check the consistency of selected approach. Note, some messages are spread over two columns. When any mode changes on the FMA, it is boxed for a few seconds to draw the pilot's attention to this new status. In our example, the aircraft is intercepting the localizer. The star, after the lock indication, means that the aircraft is in the capture phase. Once established on the localizer, the indication becomes lock. Notice that the glide slope is still armed. We will be learning more and more about the FMA in the following modules as we are constantly using it during all autoflight operations.